Uh, Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, glory, and honor to, to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim, Bukhar Kadash, Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely, and Shalom to the uh, Akim, Scat the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well too, and I say Shalom to the Akim out there, and this is a news article and a sit down lesson that I'm about to do from the Jerusalem Post. Uh, published September 7th, 2023, and last updated September 7th, 2023, from TZBIJOFFRE. And it reads Clashes renewed in, um, uh, in Al Hawaii, Palestine, refuge camp in Lebanon. <clears throat> it says the Muslim youth. A uh, group reportedly stated that it was a launch and a battle to purge the end, the end our heroic camps of apostasies. Apostasies, if I pronounce that right, I guess. But I'll continue on with the reading. It says, armed clashes erupt between Fatar and other armed groups in the M. L. Howell uh, Palestine refuge camp in the southern Lebanon on Thursday night, a little over a month after a ceasefire ended a phase of in the camp according I mean um little over a month after a ceasefire ended days of violence in the uh, camp according to Lebanese uh, national news agencies. A large number of residents of the camp were dis dis displayed uh, from their homes due to the renewing fire as the militants fire RPGs and machine guns towards each other. According to the Lebanese LBCI t uh, television network, an audio recording was circulating on social media attributes to Hatman. Ha Al Shabai, an official from the Muslim group Youth Group, which had the group was launching a battle to purge the N L H camp of apostate states, Apollo uh, uh, states. If I pronounce that right, it says the uh, the Palestinian Joint Action Authority in the Lebanon urge and return to the ceasefire stating we call for a ceasefire in the M. Al Huay camp to make a way for the joint Palestinian security forces in the camp to join action authority in the Sidon to carry out their duties and implement what has been entrusted into them brings out some uh, scriptures. This is uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 15 verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men, invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor their princes in the course of their actions to stand in their power. And this is 2nd uh, Ezra chapter 9 verse 3. Therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and up wars and people will right up wars up wars seditions uh I got the next verse of Luke 21 and 25 as well too and this is the book of Luke chapter 21 verse 25 and it reads and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and upon the earth keyword distress of nations keywords distress of nations work perplexity and the seas were rage. I mean, in the sea, in the waves, waves were. So that hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was edifying. Uh, this news article from the Jerusalem Post, as of September seventh, twenty twenty three, as it says again, clashes renewed in a El Al Hawaii Palestinian refuge camp in Lebanon. So that. Hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying, like I mentioned before. And I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Wakar Kadash, 
Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the uh, Akim, the scap of the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And until next time, I will say Shalom.